Welcome to all of you to the 17th inaugural ball of the City of Independence. A wonderful program and a fine evening is ahead of us. As we begin, we'd sure like to acknowledge the wonderful young people who provided the entertainment during our cocktail hour. Kara Chapel and her brother Thorne. Kara's a 10th grader at Independence High School. She has been playing the violin since kindergarten. And Thorin, an 8th grader at the middle school, has been playing the harp since the second grade. So not only do they have a legacy behind them, I think they have a long, long future ahead of them. And thanks for welcoming them so warmly. Let's begin our evening with the introduction of our elected officials. First, let us welcome Councilwoman Kathleen Capusta and her husband, John. They are 32-year residents of Independence, the parents of Mark, Scott, and Rebecca, with the Councilwoman having served on Council since 2014 and for 15 years prior to that, serving as the City's Senior Services Coordinator. Next, please welcome Councilman Tom Narduzzi and his wife, Donna. They're the parents of Lauren, Alexa, and Dominic, and the Councilman is a 55-year resident of the city. Tom's record of public service includes the Zoning Board of Appeals and the Planning Commission, and now six years on City Council. Ladies and gentlemen, Councilman Jim Trakis and his wife, Ann Kennedy Trakis. Jim, who has a record of service to the city dating back to his first term in council in 1992, is a lifelong resident, a former member of the Ohio House, and former chairman of the Republican Party of Cuyahoga County. And now, let us welcome Councilman Lieutenant General Bob Wagner and his wife, P.J. Wagner. They're the parents of Van and of Annie, who with her husband, Craig McGee, is here with us this evening. Bob is starting his second term as councilman at large. He grew up in Independence and came home in 2009 after a long and distinguished military career. Next, a warm welcome for Councilwoman Patty Wisniewski and husband, Ray. They're the parents of Laney and Patrick, and Patty's record of public service is deep. Elected first in 1998 and subsequently re-elected nine more times to terms on Independence City Council, serving four of those years as vice mayor of the city. We would like to extend a warm welcome to Councilman Carl Asep, who could not be here with us this evening and who has been elected to his fourth term on Independence City Council. Our greetings to Carl. Now, please welcome Vice Mayor David Grindell and his wife, Karen. <laughs> they are the parents of four, Katie, Dan, Matthew, and Joyce, and the grandparents of three. The Vice Mayor has served more than 12 years on City Council, along with nine years of service on the Board of Education, he is, too, a proud, lifelong resident of the city. Ladies and gentlemen, Director of Finance, John M. Barris and his wife, Lorian. They're the proud parents of Jillian, Jacqueline, and Jenna, and 30-year residents of Independence. John has served as Finance Director of the city for 16 years and 15 days. <laughs> And prior to that, spent two years on the City Council and two years on the Zoning Board of Appeals. And now, please extend a warm welcome to the new mayor of the City of Independence, the Honorable Anthony Togliani and First Lady Michelle. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
and gentlemen, and welcome to the 17th inaugural Hall of the City of Independence. It is a great honor for me to thank all of you for attending tonight's festivities. Our city has been blessed over the years with strong leadership from honorable men and women that have brought our suburb to be one of the best, if not the best, in Northeast Ohio. Now, the Olympic team and Browns have received a lot of attention this week for hiring their eighth coach since 1999. In fact, the Browns have had 12 coaches since 1985, and they didn't have a team for three of those years. I don't even want to talk about the quarterbacks that they've had. But Independence has had only three mayors in the last 30 years. It is not hard to understand why our city has been so successful over the years, and the Browns continue to struggle with no direction and very little hope. Tonight is the night we celebrate the election of our new mayor, Anthony L. Cagliari. The residents of Independence have once again chosen wisely to elect a young man that will continue the tradition of keeping our city on the cutting edge of providing the best environment for individuals, families, and businesses alike. The members of council look forward to working with Mayor Tagliati in a tireless manner in order to keep our city ahead of the pack in providing services, amenities, growth, and most importantly, a downtown area we can all be proud of. I wish to commend all members of City Council for your dedication to our community, and I commend Finance Director John M. Barris and members of his department for 16 years of excellence in keeping Council and the Mayor well advised. Finally, let us not forget our department heads and all employees of the City. It is the strong dedication work ethics of these men and women that make Independence the premier city in which to live, work, visit, and raise a family. Have a great night, everybody.
how we can support our schools, how we can improve and manage our infrastructure, and how we can better meet the needs of residents of all ages. I want to hear from you, independents, our business community, on how we can better serve your needs, help you grow and thrive, and attract complementary businesses to make your jobs easier in our town. I want to hear from you, independents, our community of churches, and how we can help our children, how we can strengthen our neighborhoods, and how we can bring together our residents while fighting off many of the vices in today's society. In order to achieve these initiatives, we have to start working together as a community. We must not stifle debate, but instead encourage open discussion amongst all. We must find what works and run with it. We must not take jobs and growth for granted. For too long, it has been far too easy to assume that our location and Rockside Road alone are all we need to prosper. However, with the proper planning, with the right focus, and with common sense from our leadership, we will make the most of our important assets. Yes, over the years we have made tremendous progress. Mayors Wyshneski, Kurtz, and Ramos helped to make independence a better, stronger, and safer city than they found it. These mayors helped us navigate through some of our toughest times and pointed us squarely to a more prosperous future. So on behalf of all of us, I would like to thank these leaders. I learned as a councilman, and I learned as a vice mayor, that with the right strategic focus, with the right fundamentals, working together, we can harness the potential of our community and move forward in a positive direction. I learned that teamwork matters, that consensus matters, that residents' and employees' voices must be valued, that a city hall that works together in a community that partners as one is far more powerful than a divided and contentious community. So I congratulate my colleagues, our city council, our new council members, our extremely experienced finance director, and I reach out my hand to my peers in neighboring communities, in the county, in the state, and in the school district. to take up the goal of working together to make independence the best it can be. And I'm excited to work with our residents, our businesses, and our community of churches to get back to the basics together. I want all of you to have confidence that your local leaders are here for you. We are here to listen to you, to engage you in the governing process. We will tell you when something is wrong. We will fix the things that are broken and we will run with the things that work. We will experiment, and we will take calculated risks. And at every step of the way, you, the people of independence, can hold our feet to the fire and see that we are meeting those goals and making independence the city that you need and deserve it to be. I will tell you that I do not plan to govern alone. I will look to Vice Mayor Vendell, all of Council, Finance Director Barris, my administration, and most importantly, the residents and businesses of independence. You are my strong allies for our future. And I will look to you in the coming years as we work together on a common agenda for our community. As Mayor of Independence, I have the great pleasure to serve all of you. The residents, the businesses, the employees, all of you together. While we are all different as individuals, Together, we make independence. We make independence a vibrant city that is the envy of the region. We make independence, each and every one of us in this room. Thank you again for your support. Thank you for making this day happen. And now, let's celebrate.
Thank you, Mayor Dr. Reddy. Uh, before I give the toast, I wanted to say a few words about our MC tonight. Uh, Dick, thanks for uh, agreeing to do this for us. Dick has been serving the people of Northeast Ohio for over 40 years, both as a professional journalist and as a leader in the community's civic life. He is currently Vice President of North Coast Community Homes, a nonprofit organization which develops homes for people who have disabilities. Dick also serves as executive producer of Eastern Christian Media, a private, not-for-profit, multimedia company which he co-founded in Cleveland, and is a founding member of St. Peter the Rock Media, a not-for-profit company which operates WCCR, Cleveland Catholic Radio, AM 1260 The Rock. Prior to joining North Coast, Dick held a variety of leadership positions in broadcast journalism. Most recently, he served 14 years as news anchor and managing editor at Cleveland's NBC affiliate, WKYC TV Channel 3. Before coming to WKYC in 1999, Dick spent 20 years at WJW TV in Cleveland, where he anchored and reported the news locally, nationally, and internationally. In the 1970s, he served as a broadcast journalist at a number of TV and radio stations in Northeast Ohio, including WAKR, Channel 23, and Akron. So let's all welcome Dick. Also, um, I, like, I need to thank Marilyn Sinek for helping obtain donors for tonight's event. We're going to keep the ticket prices down without the donors. Special thanks goes out to the Diamond Donors, All Erection and Crane Rental, Geotech Services, Independence Flowers and Gifts, Taft, Titanius, and Hollister, and United Survey. Most of the donors are listed in the program, but there have been a few don donations that recently arrived, so be sure to check our next newsletter for a complete listing of all donors. Please keep them in mind should you need any of their services. So let's all grab a glass. We are all here tonight because in some way, shape, or form, we share a common interest in the future of this great city and country. Tonight, let's reaffirm our commitment to enhance the quality of life in this great city and embrace our obligation to making independence the premier community in which to live, work, visit, and raise a family. Cheers.
time, something uh, rather special I'd, I'd like to have your attention about. We would ask all police officers, firefighters, members of the military, and veterans, and for the fire, uh, fighters and the police officers, whether you're active duty or retired, to please step forward. Because at this time, we're going to welcome a, younger, uh, a remarkable young lady who has a beautiful gift and who always finds a way to share that gift with others. It's our privilege tonight to uh, welcome recording artist Ashley Name. Ashley is going to lead us in the singing of God Bless America. And we would like uh, for the police officers, firefighters, members of the military and veterans to be specially recognized as we do this. to the bridge. 